Our next block is K2, and K2 has been modified. The only modification was that they took the, the uh, border off around the block, and it's about as straightforward as any quilt block can get. It's 36 blocks alternating in a checkerboard fashion, and this is the layout. So, I mean, you can't get much more straightforward. I'm gonna, I'm gonna baste the focus fabric squares one way first and then the other and then I'm going to do the opposite on the background. I've got a directional background which is rare for me so I'm going to have to base these and attach them as I go. The critical part of this is going to make going to be to make sure that as I connect the rows that the squares stay lining up correctly so that the uh, intersection of the seams come together correctly. So it's just a matter of basting and assembling row by row. So to make life easier on myself, I'm working from the bottom up, so that way I'm not working over all of these squares. My focus fabric squares, I did sides first and then top and bottom, so that leaves this formation on the back. And then my background squares, they are directional, so I did top and bottom first and then side to side. And then I have this little directional thing on each one of them, or rows or whatever that is. And then I am stitching them together in pairs. That way I can know that my fabric gets put on there correctly. And I'm double checking my direction every time I do this. So this way is up. So my next thing we'll do is I will tape this together and then I will attach this. And that will be my bottom row. And then I've got the exact opposite. This one starts with the focus fabric and ends with the background. So just a matter of getting these put together and I... Um, have these opposing so that it's a lot easier to attach them. So I got the first row done. This is going to be the bottom and these are the little roses on my background and these are non-directional. So I will set this down here and move on to the next one. Got the second row done um, just to making sure that they are opposing colors and then I will sew these together making sure that the intersections line up correctly. So I've got my bottom two rows together and I've paired up my next two rows. So I'm basically, I'm going to make three units just like this and then connect them. So I've got two sections of my block completed, two rows that are sewn together, and then I just got to connect these two. I got the bottom four rows connected and I've got the top two rows connected to themselves and I just need to complete the block. Now I have a completed K2 block.